everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and today I am doing, <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing? Honestly, what do you think I'm doing? I am doing another Q and Slay. Do you think that the boy in my icon is cute? Uh, yeah, he is adorable. If anything, he is like the cutest motherfucker on the block. B would like to know, do you want to be a mermaid? And obviously I want to be a mermaid. Who doesn't want to be a mermaid? Besides the little mermaid herself? Annie says, can you please explain this video? I feel like there is a great story behind it. And this video was actually done while I was living right down the street back in 2009. I was here as an intern at the Trevor Project here in LA. And at the time I was living in Michigan, but I was here for the summer. And I had just gone on a little weekend trip away to Las Vegas with a couple of my friends and somebody in the car played a Nicki Minaj song. And at the time I had never heard any Nicki Minaj. And I was like, what is this? Who is this? Let me know everything about this woman. And they played the song for me itty bitty piggy and so I was listening to it the entire ride back from Las Vegas back to Los Angeles and I was like okay I need to do something with this song I am obsessed with it it is ridiculous in every single way this verse is perfection so the night I got back from Las Vegas I just went into my room recorded myself lip-syncing to it and I uploaded it to Facebook I wasn't actually even going to put it on YouTube but it was doing so well on my fan page that I was like okay I have to put it on YouTube so I put it up and then the next day Day, it was going huge. It was like going viral, for my standards viral, and uh, Nicki Minaj herself tweeted the link to it and I about died. I was like, this is the pinnacle of my success. And actually just this year at the MTV Movie Awards, I got to meet and interview Nicki Minaj herself and I was just living for it. I was fangirling so hard. And I actually got to tell her that back in 2009, she retweeted me and it changed my life. And uh, yeah, everything came full circle. Sarah would like to know what book do I recommend this month? And as you guys know, I recommend a book every single month and I feel like I've been doing it for over a year and a half now. Basically audible.com is the biggest selection of audiobooks ever so if you're looking for a book to listen to you can go to audible.com slash Tyler Oakley you can get your first book free upon sign up this month I am recommending The Maze Runner and that is because I interviewed Dylan O'Brien at the MTV Movie Awards and I was like okay I'm obsessed with you and I want to see your new movie but first I want to be one of those people that reads the books before they see the movie and the movie looks amazing I saw the trailer Connor my friend showed it to me and I was like holy crap this looks incredible so again audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. If you want your first book free, you can go use that link and you will get the hookup. That's all you gotta do. The link is below. You're welcome in advance. Who was the first YouTuber you watched? William Sled. If you don't know who William Sled is, do your research. He was amazing. I fell in love with him. He was like the best vlogger ever. All he did was like talk into a camera, very little editing, but he would talk into a camera all about like fashion and just lifestyle and he would make fun of people in a small town and I was like, this person is perfection. If you haven't seen him, go watch him. You will fall in love. Sam says, seriously though, can you deep throw a boob? And I <laughs> was so confused about straight sex for a half a minute, okay? It was half a minute on Twitter. I had a lot of questions. I started to tweet them to you. And for some reason, y'all were just having a field day with it. I was curious, okay? I saw a gay boy talking about his lack of a gag reflex and all these teenage girls talking all about how excited they were about that. And I'm like, what do you think we're gonna suck on? Your boob? And then I was like, wait, do straight people deep throat boobs? Tyler, do you have a gag reflex? This is for a school project, please respond. Is your school project about deep throating boobs? Because if it is, we need to connect. We have a lot to discuss. Kylie says, if you could choose one YouTuber to be at the zombie apocalypse with you, who would you choose? If there is one woman who could take on a zombie, it would be Glozell. Have you seen the things she does on her channel? A ladle full of cinnamon. Easy. A ladle full of octopus. Easy. A bathtub full of milk and cereal. Easy. Wasabi. Easy. Ice and salt. Easy. She could take on a zombie. Are you kidding me? 3AM Tilly says, can you give us a hint as to what your secret project with Corey Cool is? And giving you a hint would probably be considered crazy talk. So no. Emily says, you have had so many awesome opportunities as a YouTuber, but what has been the most surreal moment? And I would have to say when Ricky Martin tweeted a link to one of my videos about coming out and said that that was the reason why he came out, that was pretty surreal. Deborah says, would you rather have a cat or a dog? Deborah, I feel like I have made it abundantly clear by now that I want slash need a dog right now. Please give me one. Do you believe in fate or chance? I believe in hard work, dedication, and following your dreams. 
What is the most attractive thing you can find in a guy? I would have to say anybody that has a good sense of humor and can make me laugh because everything else can just kind of flop, but if you can make me laugh, it's over. I'm yours. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that answered some of your questions. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe right there. And then if you want to see my latest Q&A, it's right there. If you want to see my latest Friday video, it's right there. And if you want to be my person of the week, all you gotta do is click right there and it'll take you to districtlines.com slash Tyler Oakley. You can get a shirt or a sweater or a poster or whatever I sell right there. And if you send me a picture of you being cute with it, I might put you right there. You might be my person of the week. It's that simple. Okay, have a good life. I will see you guys next time. And until then, yeah, later.